Comb coils are a really cool transformation. A trip to the wash house is undoubtedly the favorite part of the guest salon experience, especially if they're not frequent shampooers. So before going through the process of even wetting the hair, some of my favorite natural hair mentors taught me how to think of curls and coils as individual strands so that I can treat them properly from shampoo to finish. So when I'm having a consultation, my main goal is to see what their main challenges are so that I can overcome them. For instance, when someone tells me something like, I'm tender headed and my hair tangles very easily, it triggers in my brain that the work to get tangles out could actually be the cause of the tender headedness. So my goal here would be to make this a pain free and easy detangled experience, especially when I'm working on a kid. If you can produce a no tears visit with the kids, you've won a mom's heart. So every step you're seeing here, is what I would do when giving the curly coily wash house experience, whether it's an adult or a kid. It's important that you're taking all of this in because an easy beginning helps an easier ending. I'll be honest with you, I can't tell you how it breaks my heart just a little because of the amount of referrals that go to other salons because the salon doesn't know what to do with curly coily hair. And I do respect the fact that a stylist may not want to take the risk of messing up. So that's why what we hope to create for many who feel that way is an easy yet thorough step-by-step -step that will help to not only make it easier, but to build your confidence level that it can be done. I think the goal of any salon is not to have to send money walking out the door, right? So right now, if you can think of any parents that are guests at your salons, but the kids or maybe other family members go to another salon because it's a different texture and formation, let's rethink that. It's possible that you could be giving your business an instant income increase just by changing that piece. So just to catch you up to speed, we've detangled, We've cleansed, we've conditioned, all with ease while adding moisture. By the time you get to this step, if there are any tangles left, they should be gone. So now I've shared this tip once, but I'm going to share it again because it's so important. If the amount of hair that you're working with overwhelms you, take back the control. Section that hair into organic quadrants. And anytime I say organic sections or quadrants, I'm simply referring to the very opposite of hard, clean lines. So use your hands or a large detangling comb to create the section. Simply braid or plait the hair almost down to the end. So it's like, okay, I'm gonna put you away until I'm ready to work with you. I'm in control. Now, instead of one big head of hair, mentally I'm now dealing with four smaller heads of hair that are not as overwhelming. So now we're gonna process under the steamer for about 15 to 30 minutes, just to drive in that moisture a little more. And we're gonna rinse the conditioner thoroughly. Notice with those sections still in, and when you have the luxury of using microfiber towels, it's highly suggested because this too helps to keep a smooth cuticle and calm frizz even in the towel drying process. So now we're gonna move right into our look, which can actually be created with your fingers or a small tapered barber comb, thus making it comb coils. So here we're laying the foundation, prepping it with a little of the lavender mint leave-in conditioning spray, followed by the lavender mint defining gel. Now this gel is what really gives it that slip through the hair, which is very important for fluid movements in this technique. So to begin this, imagine that you take a small piece of hair and twirl it around your fingers continuously all the way down to the ends. That is exactly what you will do, only you will insert the smaller end of the comb at the base of the section on the underneath of the hair. Then begin to twirl the hair around, sliding the comb down towards the ends as you twirl. At times, you may have to give the comb a gentle pull to help the glide, but if it's too much of a pull, there may be too much hair on the section or it may not be detangled. So make sure to continue the twirl all the way down for a consistent end result. Now, please be patient with this process. If it's your first time, don't give up after the first try. Keep imagining it's the same as finger twirling your hair from base to the ends, only you're using a comb. 
So the comb is going to ensure that the coils are kept smooth throughout. And depending on the texture of the hair, you may find that you might need a little more slip. So in that case, add the all new lavender mint moisture milk to your cocktail mixture. So a good starting point for this technique is the sides and the back. That way you're able to keep hair clipped away as you work up to the top of the hair. And once this has dried all over, you can leave the coils as is or separate them for more fullness using the lavender mint nourishing oil. I can't wait to see how many coil experts are out there.